Okay, I have a couple of libraries in my eagle.cool program. So if you come up here, you can actually click on the library you're in and switch them. I have one called just the LilyPad, and that is because I am a creative team member at LilyPad, so I often need to know what is LilyPad specific supplies when I'm looking for something compared to the other things that I have. Other designers is just that. Other designers that I buy from at other shops. Retired designers is retired designers, a lot of things in here that the person has left and I really still love their items. Um, Don and Skip is one. I have not added all of my retired designers into here. I tend to add them as I think about using their products. And then I also have one called classes and that's where I've put any classes that I've purchased so that I can kind of keep all those reference materials together. And I have one called finished layouts. And that one I have set up the exact same way I have it set up on my hard drive, which is by year. So I can go through and I can see what each one is. I do have more finished layouts for these earlier years, but that's when I paper scrapped. So I do not have them all loaded into digital at this time. But this way I can go through and very quickly pull up and see different layouts. And I'm try to keep my layout name brain done the same. As you can tell, it doesn't always work. This one's labeled April. This one's labeled 04. I'm working on that. When they are the same, it means they all pull in the exact order that these pages happened, and so it's easy to glance through and see. Another option for this is using those tags. Since I am working on a cruise book right now, I have tagged every page that I've finished so far for the cruise that we did. So it's very easy for me to just hit the cruise button and pull up just those pages that relate to the cruise so I can see what pages are done and which ones still need to be done. That is why I have, I'm up to five libraries now. I don't have a problem making another library if I find a reason for it. I do like to keep things separate just for some of those reasons I've touched on. Um, creating a library is very easy. You just hit create library, type in the name, and tell it where to save it to. My libraries are all saved to the same hard drive. It's the hard drive that I use for all of my scrapbook supplies at this time. If you want to switch a library, you can. You just switch with this. And it'll say, well, what library did you want to switch to? I find it much easier to just click this and say, hey, switch to this library right here. Um, you'll notice there's also a merge library. My Lilypad library, by the way, is huge. That's why it does take a second to load up compared to the, all the others. You can see down here, I have um, over 373 items in this Lilypad folder itself. So if, you, if I wanted to combine other designers and retired library, designers, I can just hit merge library, tell it what I want to merge together. Not a problem. But that is how my libraries are laid out and that is why I lay out my libraries the way I do. It's mostly for the search features. So when I'm searching, um, for example, I'll show you when I'm in the lily pad and I search for, I have that same tag of cruise in here. Oh, hold on one moment. So searching you do need to hit show subfolder contents if you really want things to show up. That'll take a second to load. Now you can see all of the tags that I have put in here. So now if I hit cruise, it's going to show me just the kits that I have tagged for use in my cruise album. I prefer to have it separate that way. I prefer not to have my photos or my finished layouts also pop up when I'm looking for supplies to scrap with because to me those are two different work processes. So that is why and of the reasons why I keep those finished layouts in a completely separate one. I like that cleanness to it.